Whoops. My bad. Hello, everyone. For the second time. For the real time. For the prime time. Um, what was it? I hope you all can hear me now. Um, yay, that's great, that's great, that's great. Um, but yes, so tonight's topic, we are going to be doing Inkscape and Ink Stitch. Um, so just a precursor to what Inkscape and Ink Stitch is, because there's a good chance not a lot of people know what it is. Um, Inkscape is a, how do I explain this? It's a digital design software, uh, software program similar to Adobe Illustrator, except it's open source and free. Um, secondly, Ink Stitch is a also open source free software, but it's an extension to Inkscape. Um, yes, thank you, Abby, for throwing um, throwing Ink Stitch uh, Ink Stitch's website down there. Um, so if you want to download this and follow along, it's going to be absolutely free. What was it? But Ink Stitch is also a whoops. You know what? I completely forgot to restart recording. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna repeat this again. Hi, I'm Andrew. We're doing Inkscape and Ink Stitch tonight. Um, what was it? Inkscape is a free open source uh, design, uh, digital design program like uh, Adobe Illustrator. Um, and Ink Stitch is also an open source free extension or software, but it is also an extension of Inkscape. Um, and what it primarily deals with is vectorizing your um, digital designs um, and turning them into uh, how do I say this? Turning them into files that embroidery machines can read. Yes, thank you. Uh, that is yes, thank you for the link. To Inkscape. Um, so, without much further ado, let's get started. Okay. <sighs> First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna change this because I don't like paper. I like landscape. Mm, I mean, I just feel it's easier to work with, you know. Let's see, page size, blah blah blah. Um, oh, here, here we go, landscape portrait or landscape orientation. Okay, and then we're gonna choose inches for units because that's what I know. Um, just quite frankly. <laughs> um, and let's see, anything else I want to change while I'm here? Hmm, I don't think so. Okay, cool. We should be good to go. Okay, so. First things first, we have to decide on what we want to make or what we want to design. If anyone has any ideas or things that they really, really want to see embroidered for whatever reason, um, throw it into the chat. Um, Cause I'm gonna be totally honest, I have an idea. I know what I wanna do, but also let's make this fun. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see. First of all, we're gonna zoom in because uh, this ain't working. Let's see, file. Here we go, view, zoom, zoom in. Ah, there we go. Okay, I thought it was control plus. So my current idea is, ooh, that would be cute. That would be super cute. Um, so my current design is, so, if y'all don't know, here at the Makerspace, um, what was it? Normally, it's it's a place that people walk into, you know, in and out during normal times. Um, and we're on staff, was it normally uh, the staff here? We don't, this is like, this is new for us, the Twitch stuff. Um, so normally what we're doing is we're uh, helping people out in person. Um, and we usually have a unit, what was it? And, our bot and our boss Justin has been um, threatening slash prophesizing slash um, looming the idea of an apron over our heads for a while, 
as a uniform. <laughs> um, so I support Justin, and I am going to try to get on board with the idea of an apron uniform. <laughs> um, so, but also there's going to be some days where I'm just, I'm going to walk in, I'm going to be like, this ain't, today's bad. Like, I'll do my job, but today's a bad day. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, so, what I was considering was making little, I actually took this from, <clears throat> I took this from, or, or I was, I was inspired by this one, uh, there was, oh, I'll see if I can find, I'll, I'll see if I can find, find them, but there was this person on Twitter who was making pins, like the shiny metal ones, where they, um, where they're talking about like how or where basically it was like a slider and so like it'd be rectangular it was rectangular it was a rectangular slider and like you could slide around this heart-shaped pin um and it would be like an hp gauge which i thought was kind of cute um so what i'm gonna do instead is i'm going to if we get aprons <laughs> um no but if we get aprons um, I'm planning to customize them because he has said that that could be an option um, with some Velcro and make some, what was it, and make like three hearts or embroiders, uh, embroider a couple hearts um, so I can stick them on and off as I please um, to symbolize how hot and how not I'm doing that day. <laughs> Um, what was it? Just for fun. Um, what was it? And it could be, was it, I was thinking it'd be really cute if I could. So I wasn't entirely sure about this. So realistically speaking, I could do halves. I could do halves. Um, oh, thank you. Yay. Okay. I'm glad. Um, I could do halves. Like I could do half hearts. Um, to make it more customizable, but honestly, if I'm gonna make like three hearts, um, I should probably just make the whole ones because, uh, without going into too much detail, it'll just be easier on me long term during the process. Um, if there's anyone here who is more curious about that stuff, I can I can answer that. But if well, is it unless anyone pops up, was well, it we're just gonna go ahead and start. So. My original plan was I was going to make something similar to a, whatchamacallum, uh, to, like I was going to make it pixel art, pixel, uh, pixelated hearts. Um, so what I would do would be, I'm going to be honest, I don't totally know where to start with this one. My heart is, or my, or the first thought that I am feeling is I would draw a couple straight lines like so and do them 90 degrees okay so I screwed up there with the dimensions. Nope. Back. There we go. Something similar to that. And then what I would do is, oh, right, I should also, <laughs> thank you. I will follow my heart. Um, and so then what I, what I was also thinking was, straight line segments, no. Um, Actually, you know what I can do? I can bring down a guide. Nope. I'm gonna bring down a guide really quick so that, and just remake it because like, why not? You know? Um, so the dimensions don't matter right now, but it will just help me when I'm actually making these things slash locking them into place. Um, so I'm just gonna delete this to start off with. Um, 
Actually, you know what I could do? I could try making two. I so this is this is just me testing this out. I don't know if we if I can. Was I have not done this before, but my idea is if I let's see. Hmm. If I can cut it in half. Actually, hold on. I should go ahead and make another one. Then I don't even have to draw it or worry about curving it, because it'll be perfectly curved already. Uh, hold on. Uh, 200 minus 75. Um, I promise you I can do math. It's just going to take me a hot second. Uh, you know what? Nope. Nope. We have tools at our disposal that make our life easier. That's why I'm going to use a calculator. Uh, 200 minus 75. 125. Okay, you know what? I'm actually just going to change the guides so it'll be easier on me. Um, let's see. Well, realistically, I could do like this. Just make it super small. Yeah. And then I'll probably delete this just because this one's already smaller. What was it? And then I'm going to lock it so that it does not become an oval for a hot second. I'm going to make it like that. By the way, if anyone knows just how to make a heart to begin with, that'd be great. Not gonna lie. Um, let's see. Well, that's not even true. If I want to do this and I want to pixelate it, I can't even. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Um, so actually, <laughs> thanks. It's okay. Um, what was it? I have to start off with. No, not three boxes. Oh, by the way, okay. Um, what was it? It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. But um, that what was it? What was it? So on the left, you have your tools. I should probably explain that first. This is true. I could use presets. I just don't want to because honestly, they're kind of boring, <laughs> in my opinion. In my opinion, no, like no offense to the to the brother to the brother company. I just. I want to make my own because that seems more fun. Um, no, okay, regular polygon. Hmm, let's see, let's see. Okay, so first things first, I guess I should want to make. Also, if you hear my stomach growling, I apologize. I forgot lunch, and it's a little late for dinner. Or it's a little early for dinner. Also a little early, for, also a little too late for dinner because, um, you know, I'm here, I'm committed. I love y'all, you know. It just, yeah. Uh, though I do advocate if you are hungry, please go eat, because you're not me. You don't have a camera on you right now. Okay, so that's not right. Why is that not right? Do I need another guide at the 150? That would be nice, actually. No, I'm gonna throw that away. Here we go. 50. And you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in a little so I can look at it really quickly. Yeah. Um, you know what you guys should start off with? I should probably start off with. Um, yeah, I should probably start off from the points because that would be a heck of a lot easier. Okay, snap. Yeah, this is this is way easier. Snap. 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 Hey, that was really cool.
Oh. Dogs can, that can do things in movies? Sign me up. Like, dogs that talk in movies? I'm there. You know I've already bought my ticket. I don't know. I was just... Was it that, uh, the dog in the, in the chef's, the chef's hat? I can't tell if that's a chef's hat or if that's a beret. Um, it just reminded me. <sighs> okay, so, free hand lines. Nope. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to curve it. So, we go up here, create spiral path. No. Let's do this. Actually, let's let's edit the nodes and yeah, here we go. Nope. We don't want. That. No, please come back. Control Y. Hey, first try. Uh, let's see, how do I curve this? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hold on, so that. And also that point and this point. No, actually, I did select it, yes. And. Well, okay. So. Theoretically, what I could do is I could just start doing. Yeah, it's a rough, it's a rough heart, but it's a, it is a heart. It's recognizable as a heart, at least. It will be with, um, with the stitching. So instead of having, what was it? I saw online. What was it? There was somebody who was saying that if you can't do something, like technically, as a skill, um, just say the element wasn't fitting right, or it wasn't right for this type of genre. And I think we're gonna pull that. We're gonna say that. We're gonna say that that's, what was it, that the heart I had in mind, which was like a zigzag step, uh, step stair kind of heart, um, was, it's, it's um, the element is no longer needed. Um, and so I am choosing to not do it. And if it makes my life easier along the way, huh, that's, you know, that's really, really just convenient. You know? Was in height? Yeah, that sounds fine. Let's just make it... Solid. Man, that's annoying. That's fine. Um, yes. And then let's do. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Let's first of all let's add a node. Um, also let's grab. No. Let's... No. Come back. Um, here we go. Let's grab a guide and another one. If I can grab it, hello. Here we are. Um, and those will just be useful. Let's start off with the big, the big ones. Um, and then do another one here, and then do another one here. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off by adding a node because, okay, so I should probably also explain this. Um, So nodes are the little points that dictate um, where lines begin, where lines end, um, where they curve. Basically, anytime the line changes, 
so including like start and finish and any curves or changes in direction in between, you're going to have a node at that point. So for example, um, what was it? If we actually go ahead and look at, look at this one right now. So you can see right here, they're, they're kind of tiny and they're overlapping, so it's a little hard to see. But there's gray nodes right here and here at every point where it either the, the, the border changes direction or um, the lines, or you have a new line. What was it? Um, and you can do a lot of different things with them. In general, though, if you're going to embroider, what you really want to do is you want to keep the amount of nodes you have down while keeping the design just because the more nodes you have the harder it is for the program to understand and it might take a while like legitimately i've had a program take 30 minutes to like just process the pure amount of nodes that exist it's a lot sometimes um so let's see There we go. Okay, cool. There's already one there, so I don't need to worry about that. Cool, and then we're going to want another one right here. Also, what? No, come back. There we go. Cool. And they don't have to be exact. I'm just trying to get them as exact as, exact as I can because it's going to make for a better product later on. You know, here we go. And so with this, what I can actually start doing is I can start, oh, you know what? I also want another set of guides coming right here. Uh, I guess, no, it's a little too much. I think that's about right. Hold on. We're going to grab another guide. <laughs> if you can't tell, guides are really helpful. What was it? It's like 12.5, I think, for 25. Yeah. So about there. So realistically, I need to move this down a little. So it matches about there. Like that. Yeah, that looks about right. Well. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just helps if it is. Um, and then I'm going to grab another one like so, and I'm going to grab another one from over here. Oh, right, I should I need to grab one from over here. Whoops. Hold on. So 212.5, 12.5, yes. Wow, OK. Well, it matched up perfectly. Okay, well, that's great. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sub, we're gonna add more nodes right there. So also, I'm gonna delete this guideline because we don't need it anymore. I said we're gonna delete this. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. Where's delete? There we go. Also, you can get rid of nodes if you want. Um, I'm gonna do that because guidelines don't really need loans because need need nodes. Because why would they? You know, they're not real things that you're actually gonna do. Okay, so I'm also I'm also gonna delete. Where am I? I'm also going to delete this one because, yes, it's unnecessary now. Um, I've got it perfect. OK, so I'm going to add one right there. Ah, keep on cl clicking on the guideline. Um, 
Thank you. Okay, finally. There we go. Cool. And then I want... Do we want another one? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna be honest. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> we're also going to do right here. So now we're going to draw the straight lines. Okay, so... Actually, let's see if I can hide this for a hot sec. I mean, because I did delete... Uh, okay, so why don't I just move them away? Because I'm not done with them, but also they're a little pain. They're, they're a little pain in my butt right now. Let's see. No. Okay. So that is a common mistake people make. It looks like you're actually connecting them, but in reality, what you're really doing is you're just, um, you're just making another line and another set of nodes over those nodes. So you gotta be careful about that. Uh, let's see, where is it? Corner, symmetric, paths, paths, curves, lines. Let's see. So I think what I could do is I could do. No, that is not what I want to do. Nope, come back, come back. Hello. Um, right. So why do there need to be nodes in the middle of lines? Um, that is... Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good question. Um, so those are right now because I want to subdivide them further <clears throat> um, into smaller pixels, quote-unquote, um, and just make it look... Uh, a square and just have like uh, subdivide the part into squares um, so for example let me see if I can find a good reference photo uh, pixel art yeah here let me pull this up so Like this, uh, this is what I was imagining, but instead of the, let's see, like right here, where the squares are right side up, I was gonna turn them diagonal. Um, so that's just it. I'm sorry, y'all didn't even see that. Hold on. Yes, there we go, there we go. Um, so what I mean is, so like, you see this heart right here. Um, the one that's subdivided into more squares. Um, we, I was imagining that, but just diamonds instead, which is why I'm putting the nodes there so that I can subdivide them into squares. Diamonds, you know what I mean. I hope you do. If not, I can try again, but I can try to communicate, communicate again, but yes. Okay, so was it, let's transition back into Inkscape. Oh, fudge. I didn't need that guide because I need to make the, um, I need to make the notes here. Yeah, that's important. And then also here. And then I'm going to actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if I can actually see the um, the nodes. X-ray mode? Is that what I need? No, that's not what I need. Um, page grid? Is that what I need? Oh, nope. Nope. Um, let's see. Because I know there is a button, usually. It's just... 
somewhere. Um, oh, also, here's Ink Stitch underneath the ink extent extensions. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to really quickly search up um, how to see nodes in Inkscape. And you're going to come along with the ride for me. So we're going to just do a quick Google search. Hmm. <laughs> let's see, let's see. No tool options, Inkscape. <laughs> Join, break path. Let's see. Um. Oh, you know what I could do? I guess I could always, um. Hmm. I could always just change it into, I could make the overlay lines and then merge them. That is one way I could do it. Yeah, I think that's, that's I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so we're going to, actually, no, that's calligraphy. Actually, that was wrong. What I'm gonna do is bam, bam, bam. Cool, and then theoretically, if I just copy paste this, it should be okay. Also, yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Um, and then we're gonna flip it. I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm more comfortable with Illustrator um, because it's much more UI friendly um, or UX friendly. Jackson, uh, one of our other streamers who is very into UI would know the difference, but I don't. Um, but anyways, so here we go, rotate. Here we go, and then just snap it, hopefully. There we go, cool. And then, we're gonna do that same thing. Actually, this time, you know what we're gonna do. We're going to do this, and then we're going to cut this in half, question mark. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait on that until I get more like, guidelines in so I can see it easier. Um, but what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is gonna be roughly half. So that when I do, I can actually do this. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Well, this. Like so. And then I want another one. And this time I'm just gonna rotate it to the right. But yeah. Also. Oh, also. Um, wow, that's actually really nice. I like that it can snap into the intersection. That's really cool. Um, hmm. So I could go further. I could do more, but I'm gonna be kind of honest. I kind of just like the simple red and like red and black thing going on right now. Hmm. Well, okay. So the thing is, well, okay. Hmm. If I just say that all the lines are thicker, then that should be fine, theoretically. What the heck's going on? This is true, we are NCSU. Um, this isn't gonna be technically NCSU because NCSU has a very specific hexadecimal color. Um, that I'm pretty sure we don't have fabric for. Though we probably should, honestly. Um, or it would be very nice to have that kind of stuff. But still, um, it's a lot. Let's see. Uh -huh. How do I change properties? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is that on the side? Like 
boxes. Snap notes. Oh, that reminds me. I still have to. <laughs> Document. No, no, no. This is usually all just the. Find group, select a group, select a clone. Here we go. Properties. Hello. Um, so we're going to say. no color because we don't like color well actually we're gonna say a color black um let's see stroke style with 100 percent markers yeah yes this is true we do love color um oh hello okay you know what we're gonna make you hollow Yeah? No? Okay. Okay. Whew. Well, failure is part of the process, and it's just a learning tool. You know, we're just having fun here. We're, we're going to have a Bob Ross moment. We're just going to chill out and just learn together and have happy little mistakes. Happy little... What is the quote? I forget. Yes. Happy clouds. Happy, happy clouds. Um, so normally I'm going to say nix the fill, actually, make the stroke paint like such, stroke style, make it whiter. Yeah, see, this is the kind of, this is the kind of heart I wanted. Yeah. We just need to make the lines, like, really intense. Um, well, actually, hold on. I don't know how big I want it to be, because, hmm, I kind of want it to be about, three inches? Is that a big thing? Is that, like, hold on a sec, let me grab a ruler, which we have many of, from the space. Shazam! Um, so, let's see. How big do I want this thing? Three inches. That's a, that's a hefty, well, actually, hold on. Three by three. Mm. Three by three inches is kind of small. Maybe three and a half by three and a half. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so millimeters. Again, we're gonna scroll back up to inches because they make sense to me. Oh, okay, this works too. Okay. Um, let's see, four inches, four inches, and then three inches. That's kind of big, not gonna lie. Okay, so let's see. Um, three and a half. Or three point seven five, maybe. Would be a better, better, better compromise. Yeah. Okay. So this is nice. I like this. Plus, won't you be putting multiple on your print? Yeah. 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 Um, so having small is okay, actually. You know what? No, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna have a giant apron. We're gonna have giant. We're gonna have giant hearts, like our hearts. Um, except real hearts don't look like this. Um, as I'm sure anyone who ever attended medical any medical training of any kind could tell could tell you. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete the the guides because we don't need them anymore. You know. And they were useful, but we're gonna say thank you for we are grateful for your help. But also, you we have no use for you anymore. So off you go. Oh. Ah come on. Here we go. Hello. Ah. 
I wonder if I can actually just... No. Why can't I? That's annoying. Hmm. Wait, what what? What what's what? I So that was a coherent sentence, I believe. But um Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Um, I got you. I got you. When I was talking about the heart, and I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I know. I know what you're talking about now. Okay, cool. So now we're here, and... So, okay, there's a couple ways that we could do this. So, first things first just like genuinely easiest way uh, we could embroider this would be to say hey we're not gonna actually embroider the fill-in squares and what we are going to do is we're going to just let the background color be our fill-in and there are there's a couple things going on for that right now um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a pro con list and write it down because I'm going to be honest, I don't have great <laughs> I don't have great short-term memory. So I um I have to use tools like this. So pros. Um let's see. Pros um it'll okay, so It'll be simpler, that's for sure. Um, it'll be simpler. It will also be just genuinely a lot easier. Like, uh, you'll see once we get to the second stream, um, or maybe the first, honestly, I've done this like really quickly. You know what? I should, I really should. Um, what was it? Pros. It's simpler. Um, it's easier. It's less work. Also, more efficient. So basically, okay. So here's why I say this. Um, because there is a... First of all, okay, so whenever you have higher thread count um actually let me let me backtrack let me start from the beginning so with digital embroidery right um you're gonna have a lot of threads going in and out right um of a piece and it all depends on how complicated or how you want the design um so for this one because realistically it's not gonna be that bad it's just just because of it's so simple and it's kind of small or it's kind of big so there's not gonna be a lot of puncture points it'll be fine however if i say what was it but that's because we're not embroidering the fill-in if we are embroidering the fill-in there's going to be a lot of points at which the needle is going to be going in and out a lot um and that can increase the risk of uh, of less risk of tearing slash holes. Um, what can also happen is if your tension isn't, isn't just right, um, when you have things that are supposedly right next to each other, so for example, if we filled in these squares, we could say uh, what, what could happen is instead um, there would be slight margins in between the actual square and the borders even though even though we might digitally design it to be like hey perfect snap the dimensions are perfect there's no space in between um, the just because it's going in and out so much 
it can actually um, bend the because the needle goes in and out of the fabric so much it can actually bend it um, and just like stretch it out a little bit to the point where you can see the margins and like they are very noticeable admittedly so there would be no so no well okay probably less um, I'm not a firm believer in the power of absolutes because there's very few absolutes in the world I believe just science says so science it's a thing um, but there's gonna be probably less um, which of my columns margins there's also probably going to be hmm it also it is also gonna be shorter admittedly um, just because like so the so the brother PE hundreds which are the machines that we have here at this base and which I've memorized the model name by heart because of how much love 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 I have for the machine we're gonna say love um, as of today because I'm not actually gonna touch the machine probably today uh, <laughs> no I really do love it it's just frustrating um, anyways there it also it's gonna take some time you know because like it it has the capability to go a couple thousand stitches a minute however some of like if you have a really complicated design like that's completely filled in and it takes up a lot of space and a lot of thread it can take anywhere between 15 to 45 minutes um approximately roughly um to just actually finish embroidering um and so it also means it's harder it, it takes longer in the sense that if you because the machine's really prone to making mistakes just because fabric machine machines that like deal with fabric like this uh are in this manner just always tend to have a lot of probability of error um if you screw up near the end of the end end of the embroidery and you don't think it's salvageable you cannot you, you're gonna and you ha have to start over you're gonna have to wait possibly 30 45 minutes for another one so shorter time frame and i'm gonna be totally honest like with embroidery it's gonna take you a couple tries to get your perfect design um like if i did this right now just to be just thinking about it it could be not bad but also or it wouldn't be too it wouldn't be too hard but also to get three perfect ones that i'd be like cool this is great i love it this is exactly what i thought this was going to be <coughs> it's probably going to take me i want to say somewhere between four to six attempts optimistically or maybe cynically i don't know um but that is realistically it's probably four to six that's probably a better word realistically therefore but also like it looks prettier if i filled it in you know yeah this is true i do have this i do have this and we have all this time so it probably wouldn't be a bad idea um let's see we need to do though is well okay so first of all what we need to do is we also need to merge the nodes because that's a thing and we also want to hold on where are you yeah hello We want to merge them so we just like join yep and then we say hey to the other side as well we're probably going to want to start off with this one
No, that was not joined. Okay. So what is the, why is that a thing? Merging the nodes. Okay. So remember when I said um, nodes are it's like the building blocks um, in the sense that like every time the the shape changes, you want a node there because it's gonna say, hey, change shape at this point. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to vectorize it and turn this into paths, right? Um, and we're gonna turn these we're gonna turn this design into paths that the computer can actually follow and uh, or, or not the computer that the machine can follow and say hey from a to from point a to point b stitch here to here um, and so what you really want is you want something like this you want you want to merge the nodes um, just so it's one cohesive design at least I think so um, also because if you don't and you have stray nodes slash lines um, just around in my experience it can mean that you it can mean that you're gonna have just like suddenly a thousand a thousand stitches at one point that is a thing we, we yeah so it's important that you merge but what I might actually just do is be like hey here we go and here we go and we're gonna say merge no please merge oh my god please don't tell me hold on hold on I what Oh, okay, so they merged? No, they did not merge. Okay, we're gonna go back. My question is, what happens if I just say, because we might have just spent a lot of time with the guidelines for nothing. But also we're gonna not do that, and we're gonna do, hello? Nope. No, not what I want. Oh no. Oh no. What? What happened to my nodes? Come back to me. Okay. Are you still there? Oh no. It was just it being slow and having a. It, it was just having a moment for a hot sec. Let's see here. We're just gonna, yeah. My only question is how do I select them so it, oh. Maybe that's all I needed really. <laughs> Show path outline, yeah. I think this will be easier now, at the very least. And then join, please. Yeah? So when I do this now, nope, still no. Question. What happens if I just try to join these two together? Because um, they should all be the same node, realistically. Can I say join that way? And hey, I can. Okay, cool. Finally, we're getting we're getting we're we're, get, we're getting somewhere. And then we're gonna say, here we go. 
cool. Okay, so what I really need to do is I need to shift select this, and then shift select this, and then shift select this, and then join, please. I think so. And then shift select this, and then shift select this, and then shift select this, and then join. I think. So now, nope, still able to just throw them around. The design looks cool even without the outer outline. Oh! Yeah, it kind of does. Um, it's very nice. I, I'm almost tempted to just make the impression of an outline. <laughs> I am entirely unsure of how that would work. It would be fine. Well, first things first. I know this works, so which is why I'm going to do this first. No, not what I wanted. Thank you, thank you, come on. Join. No, please. Why? Uh it also kinda looks like chocolate with it, but it, I'm but I'm just hungry. But maybe I'm just hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I'm a little hungry too. Um let's see. Actually, okay, hold on. We're just gonna scroll down and see. Maybe I just was using it wrong. You know? Cause that, cause that can happen. I'm not perfect. No. Actually, you know what I could do? Oh, whoops. Not what I wanted. Scroll really, really, really in depth. Join them. Hey, that worked. Cool. Maybe that's just what I need to do from now on. I just need to... Where did that go? Hello? No, come back! Okay, so... Let's scroll in again. Hopefully, my joining did not actually delete the heart. Okay, yeah, and then we're gonna make this a corner. Hey, we did it. Then we're gonna scroll out. We're going to put this, we're gonna move this back. And then we're gonna scroll back in. What? Oh, it's because I hit backspace accidentally, that's why. Well, that explains more. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then we're gonna bam, I think. Let's see. Yes, yes. Hold on. Hey, we did it. Actually, that's kinda cute too. I kinda like that. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, hold on. So I could do just like a simple... Oh. Hold on. Wait, then how did I move it? Did I just select both of them by accident? Oh, probably. So select this. 
and then we're going to select this and join please please Oh, it's because I selected both of them. Hold on. Nope, still no. Okay, let's see this. Am I, have I selected any other nodes? I don't think so. So theoretically I should just be able to snap. Snap. No! What happened? My friend. Maybe I'll have more. Tr Maybe I'm just thinking about this too much. Maybe I just need to scroll really, 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 really in depth. Whoops. If any of you have motion sickness, I am very sorry. This was not my intent. Cool. And then bam, and then hello. Hey, they're joined, I think. They are not. Please join the selected nodes. <sighs> Corner. quickly just look at the internet. The internet's a great place to look, y'all. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Cool. Node tool options. Insert new mode. Node. Select at least two nodes. When you click on the button, the nodes... Okay, so this is what we wanted. Um, oh, yes, 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 we're making a heart. Yes. Um, and I'm going to be embroidering it later with the brother PE800. Um, if, as soon as I can figure out Inkscape. I promise you, I know how to do digital design. It's just Inkscape's hard. Um, we're going to transition back because I have a feeling it might also just be that it's I'm using the wrong tool. So I'm going to actually stop selecting this. Here we go. Scroll in. Wow, they're really, really tight. Hold on. Yeah. 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 I think. No. <sighs> yes. Yes, we are embroidering onto, hopefully, I will support whatever decision the makerspace, I will support, respect, and also follow any decision the makerspace as a whole, and my superiors say, but um, if I don't have an apron to put this on, I have some really cool jeans that I was thinking about, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that also seems to be the consensus, which is why I'm getting on the train. Um, as soon as I can figure out how to join. Okay, so bam bam. 
join. Join? No. I was so happy for a second. Maybe I need to break this. This is either going to be really bad or really, really, really cool. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to say. Yeah. We're going to join there. Nope. join like this right yeah question is why can't we join like this well okay so I'm at the point where I'm feeling a little frustrated and honestly what happens if we just group, group everything I'm just curious you know for the sake of art or for the sake of science we should just at least try to see if there's an, an easier way to do this so control G and then we're going to move this around. And what we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to say wait, this is a width. Whoa, no 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 no, that is not what we wanted. I like 3. 3 millimeters is a lot of meters. Um what happens? Okay, and we also want to Goodbye, pros con list. Heart waffle. Yes, heart waffle. Oh, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's zoom out a little. There we go. Uh, what happens if we now say ink stitch? Oh, this is new. This is interesting. I. Let's see if we can do line to satin. Oh, yeah, I have to select the lines for them to, you know, say convert to satin. Let's see, ink stitch, satin tools, convert line to satin. So, okay, I should also talk about what satin, satin stitches are. So, there's a lot of different types of stitches that you can do, right? Um, and there's a lot of different, uh, there's a lot of different techniques. Satin. Satin? Statin? Satin, yes. Satin is, um, it's a really pretty kind if you're going to do simple, if you're going to do, if you, if you want specific lines to be like, to like stand out, which in the case we do, because, you know, they're the entirety of the design. Um, so... We'll see. You know what we could also do? We could also, hold on. Yeah, so this also takes a hot second sometimes when you're dealing with ink stitch just because it's all, it, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's like a lot of processing power. It, it requires, whoa, we're not gonna do negative margins, margins because block spot. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That is, that is the image of a satin, satin stitch. It is very pretty. Um, at least I think so, um, in comparison with others. And it's also much a more tight s stitch um, than your average normal one. What was it that the computer defaults to? So actually, you know what I could do? I was thinking about this. And like, it was actually, was it, it's, uh, Abby, you, you inspired me, as you always do. What was it, which is, um, of like, hold on, no, not that. Um, what happens if we make this? What's it? We can do three different. We can do three different hearts. Um, like such. We're still gonna need to get rid of the, the text box because it's gonna consider that. Um, we're going to probably want.
Ah, here we go. Right. Um, what was it? So we can have different differing layers of complexity within each heart. So first heart, we're going to do nothing on the inside. Second heart, we're going to do. I'm going to copy paste this again, and we're going to move this over and make it match. And then we're going to delete. Actually, we're just going to keep this line and delete these ones. And ba bam. I'm not gonna lie, it, they look like um, Tetris pieces the more that I look at them. <laughs> um, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, oh god. <laughs> okay, so, here we are. Um, so, you know what, why don't we actually line these up nicely so that we can see them all. Actually, that's a good question. Will this actually line up? We'll see. Oh, right, I should probably group this one. Control G. Nope. I should also probably group this one. Control G. Um, okay, so you know what? No, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like this. Mm -hmm. We're just going to make it pretty for the viewers. Um, and then we're going to take the whole thing, and then we're going to say path, or filters, no, extensions, here we go, ink stitch, satin tools, convert line to satin. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, 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 bum. And we can use that, because that's not copyrighted. <laughs> um, what was it, but yeah, here we are. Yeah, um, so they're not going to be all clean corners. Actually, that's a good question. Why isn't this one a clean corner? Hold hold for the freeze, y'all. There we go. Why isn't this one a clean corner? Um, right, right. I forget. In Illustrator, you can usually just drag, uh, click and drag to move around. Um, let's see. We want to make that a corner. Maybe that'll make it different. Yeah, because it is a miter join. Um, yeah, I I could be going insane. No, probably not. Um, okay, here we go. And, nope, come on. Hello. And we're going to say extensions, ink stitch, satin tools, convert lane to satin. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Nope. OK. So at this point, I'm going to assume that it is not a thing that we can change. It is just part of the satin. I think. I think. I could be wrong. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, hello, what? Oh, that's interesting. There we go, we're fixed. We just have to go ahead and do that for the rest of them. Join, whoop, that was not what I intended. Hello. Join, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. And on to the final one. First of all, we're going to clip away these. And then we're going to join. Cool. We're done now. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out. And I think it all looks good to me. What was it? So Abby, our moderator right now, who's awesome, um, she also 
has expertise in, she also has some experience with the, with the embroidery machine. Um, so I'm just going to ask you, Abby, uh, well, listen, just throw it in the chat. Do you see anything that could go wrong with this? Cool. Okay. We're good to go. I think. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, so these are all the nodes and things um, that you can see. Actually, hold on. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. It'll be fine. If not, we'll have a really cool learning experience. In which case, I might mean that the, that a needle might break. Which is okay. Failure is part of the process. Failure is a tool to help you learn. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna say is, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say, we're going to ink stitch, and then we're going to visualize and export. So we're gonna do a simulator first. It's just, it's important that you it actually works, it, that the computer can say that it works. Hey, I really hope y'all can see this because this is really cool. Hold on, let me add another. Well, let me show y'all really quick. Um, yes, okay. Here we go. Yes, okay. So what it's doing right now is it's... Um, the simulator is also really, it's, it's a really good tool to use because it's gonna show you what it's gonna look like or and like the process. And believe me, you want, just just trust me on this, you want you want to know what the process is gonna look like. Um, just as a rough guide. It'll help you spot anything that goes wrong. Um, so it's, it's just generally good. Let's see, yeah. So here we are. We're just gonna go really super speed for a hot second. Mm. Yes, so we can do this. Yeah, okay, so I like this a lot. Um, and they've actually updated this since I've last used it um, because I will also say Illustrator is, okay, this is something that I should have probably talked about beforehand. So I talked about earlier about how I'm using Inkscape, right? And how it's like Illustrator, except free and open source. Yes, it is actually really satisfying to watch. It is even more satisfying to watch in person. Oh, what was it? I'll, what was it? I'll be showing y'all next time. So, we'll, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, just because there, I promise you there is not enough time to do this today. Um, or get, get it finished by eight. Um, anyways, so, right, sorry. Um, Ink Stitch, or Inkscape, is a free alternative to uh, Illustrator because it's open source and it's made by the community. Uh, what are the lines connecting the hearts? Oh, yes. So those are the, um, it's part of the design. If I'm thinking, are you referring, I'm assuming you're referring to the ones, oh, no, 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 you mean the ones actually connecting to the different hearts. Okay, so those are, um, those are where the needle jumps from, from this stitch to this stitch, yeah. Because what actually happens is, um, it, the embroidery machine, it doesn't actually like cut it off after it finishes one section and then, you know, moves on to another. Um, what it actually does is it just keeps going and you can just cut it out later and it's it just I don't know how to feel oh, is it so there's not a lot to feel about it honestly it's just it's fine it's especially good though when you have, when you have small things when you have a lot of small separate things um, just because you cutting 
the um what was it like going in by hand and cutting them is going to be much and cutting the threads is going to be much faster than actually um telling the machine to stop cut uh, cut off the thread having to re-thread it by hand um and then pressing go again um it's just generally faster um for small for products with many separate small objects um also this way you don't have to re-thread it um which can it's fine like i've done it a lot so i have a lot of practice with it um but if you and it's was it they have guides um but if you was it 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 can be um it also can mean that it can be hands off so you can like it, so the machine will give you an estimate of like 30 minutes so you can like press go I highly recommend that you stay and watch because it is prone to failing but if you had like but if you needed to step out for a second you could keep going and you would keep going until the entire project is finished so anyways back to our regularly scheduled programming um, Inkscape is a free alternative and what that means is sometimes it's not, uh, was it? It's not as. It's like it's actually really, really close to being as good as Illustrator. And like practically, it's the same. Of like you know when you're using it, um, and watching that machine will bring joy into your life. Yes, yes it will. Yes it will. It will also bring pain, but no pain, no gain. Um, no, but really, it is, like, Abby is absolutely right. Um, watching Machine Go is very satisfying, and it's just, it's nice to hear that thunk, 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 of the needle, um, going in and out for, like, 20 minutes. It's great. Um, if, what was it? It's a lot of the stuff under the hood, but without the fancy dashboard. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say. Um... And also, Inkscape is a little rougher to use on a computer who, that isn't particularly strong. Um, so, for example, my, my laptop. I love it. It's a little old. Um, but, so, like, some of the parts are a little old, like the, like the processor. Um, and so, basically, what it... Um, so I can use Illustrator on that laptop um, because it's just lighter software like just uh, I don't know how to say it weight wise digitally it takes up less space or it takes up less memory and it also is less processor intensive yes um, than Inkscape um, which can be significant if you're working on a computer that's that has old parts. Um, but hey, um, what was it? Um, that said, they are like they are like they are both perfectly fine to use. You might just ha have to wait a little longer for some actions to register. <laughs> Interesting. I'd say Illustrator is heavier, but it's better at slowing down instead of needing everything at once. Huh. Yeah, that's that is a fair point. Um, the reason that I was talking about, or the reason that I think that, I don't know, it feels heavier and like uh, Inkscape feels heavier and clunkier to me, is because it just there's something about like for example, we have laptops here at the makerspace for people to use, you know, because you have projects and. Most projects need computers nowadays, or a lot of projects can need computers. Um, and whenever we use them on the laptops, sometimes they can freeze up for a second, or they'll flash um, when you're using Inkscape, but Illustrator is fine. It just might take a second to register. Yeah, it's... Well, but also this is like, if you have a rel relatively new computer, you're fine to use them. They are just a little, just normally digital design program, design software programs like these 
are gonna be a little intensive um, for your computer, which is why I wanted to talk about that really quickly. Um, because Ink Stitch on my computer could take five minutes to load the simulation. Um, but on this one, you know, it took less than 10 seconds. So I'm also just gonna, so because we have some time left over, I'm just gonna really quickly like run around, like see, see what it's gonna look like because, or mess around with some of the features for this. Cause I haven't, oh, you know what? We're gonna slow this, we're gonna slow this down. No, a little too slow. Is it by powers of two? Yes, it is by powers of two. I mean, that said, this is, we're using a relatively powerful computer, but still it's like a little unresponsive. Just because this is like a really, and like the pro, like the actual math and like all the things that it's doing to make this is a lot. Um, at least I am, I, at least I believe so. Um, you know, I didn't make this. So if anyone who did make this can weigh in, you know, they are the higher authority on this. Okay, so let's see what, yeah. So one step backward. Okay, I, the needle, question mark. Hmm. Oh, I see, okay, okay, that's fine. That's interesting, okay. Well, cool. Um, I think, yeah. But yeah, that is, that's, that's the simulation. Um, so now we're here, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set extensions, uh, ink stitch. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna make sure that there's no um, hanky pinky going on. And what I mean by hanky pinky is any stray nodes or stray lines that I may have made that I'm missing right now and are currently on the page. Yes, yes it is, yes it is. Um, I really like it, it's like really nice. Like they updated the, the user interface a lot and it looks really cool. Also I'm gonna group these because I don't like how they just move around on their own or the individual parts. Come on. Okay, that one's already grouped, cool. So we're gonna go select this, select this, and then I'm pretty sure there's a select other invert selection. Yep. And if I just press delete, 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 delete. Just to new new interface. I was just getting used to the old one. Yeah, yeah, what was it? Admittedly, it's, it had been like that for about a year or so, so I'm glad they did. But it does, yeah, it looks really, really nice. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to move them back. Let's see, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah. Oh, right, Nick. Um, you don't know what, what these are for necessarily. Um, so I'm going to embroider these for the aprons that Justin has been prophesizing, terrorizing, threatening, slash, um, imagining, imagining, uh, imaginating, imagining into existence, um, for the past couple of years or so as our uniforms. So, and I've decided to get on board. So, no, come on, hello. Um, and I'm gonna make a, um, 
I'm going to embroider these in a different stream, and I'm going to velcro them. Sorry. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to velcro them, and then I'm also going to go ahead and... What should I call them? Um, or I'm gonna, so I can like take them on and off of the apron as I want. Let's see. Ooh, can I make a giant heart with these? That is a good question. Come on. I believe in you. I will say the selection tool in Inkscape is, a, is interesting. Are you going to try embroidering straight onto the Velcro because that will probably be difficult? So no, um, so, we'll, so we actually have um, iron on Velcro in, this, in one of the many buckets or cabinets. I know it's here, I know it exists. There's a really, really good chance that no one's used it because it's kind of a niche um, product. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's so that's how I'm gonna do that. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of like them separate. Yeah, I like it separate. Okay. Um, so then I'm just gonna go ahead and say extensions, ink stitch. Um, Params. Oh, yeah. I have to change the params on this because I have to <laughs> make the presets. Um, what was it? Let's see. Mm -hmm. What is an e stitch? I don't know. I no idea what e stitches are. What are e stitches? Uh, pull compensation satin stitches. Okay, so I'm also I should probably show y'all the what I'm actually looking at. I'm looking at like the params right now. And they're just like all the individual like tiny settings for the actual stitching. So if we take a look really quickly, I believe the preview. Um, center walk underlay. What is center walk underlay? I'm gonna Google that really quickly. Ink stitch center walk underlay. Bum -ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Rams. Here we go. Okay, cool. Let's show. Oh, right. I should. I always forget to transition. That's a thing that happens. Um, Firefox. Here we go. Cool. Okay, cool. Let's transition. Okay, we're gonna just read because we have some time. I'm gonna be totally honest. Um, we're just gonna spend some, and I, I can't get started with the rest of that stuff until later. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna look, look, we're gonna look at all the little individual things. Cause also I haven't looked at ink stitch in a hot minute. So looking at this will probably be good information. Okay. So running stitch, manual stitch. So, okay. R running stitches are, they are your, uh, what my columns? They are your default, if I'm remembering correctly. Or maybe it's the manual that's the default. Um, yeah. Uh, fill stitches are, oh, fill stitches, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are the normal fill, but I don't like them, just to be perfectly honest. Um, at least not as much as I do like the satin column. Like, it just looks so much nicer, I think. Um, and like glossier, you know? Okay, so stroke params. So satin stitch along paths must be enabled for these settings to take place. 
So because we're having seven stitches, that's okay. Manual stitch placement, enter manual stitch mode. Wow, okay, we can do manual stitches now. Whew, hello. Repeats, defines how many times to run down and back along the path. Um, default one, traveling once from the start to the end of the path. Stitches will end at the end of the path. Stitching will turn to the start of the path. Okay. I am unsure of what that means specifically. Um, enable bean stitch mode. Backtrack each stitch this many times. A value of one would triple each stitch. Forward, back, forward. A value of two would quintuple each stitch, etc. Only applies to running stitch. Um, okay, so it's like doubling up. I think. I'm doubling up on the stitches by going forward once and then back and then repeating over it. Oh god. Oh, oh geez, oh geez, that'd be a lot. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> let's see, let's see. E stitch enables E stitch instead of satin. Don't forget to enlarge the zigzag spacing for this stitch type. What is an E stitch? Is it here? I what it is. Its biggest purpose is for a simple and yet deceivingly strong cover for applique atoms, mainly for baby cloths, as their ten ten as their uh blah 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 blah. Mainly for baby cloths, as their skin tends to be more sensitive. Okay, gotcha. Huh. Prepare your path exactly as you would with a satin column. Um. Well, my question is, is because satin columns are already pretty strong, is it stronger than the satin column? Hmm. <laughs> let's see. Um. Let's just go ahead and look at satin column. Borders, letters, or small fill areas. So you can do. Using a shape made of two mostly parallel lines, which draw zigzags back and forth between the two lines, vary the thickness of the columns you like. Combine two strokes with path is greater than combine or hit Control K. Check path directions for the satin columns work. They have to be equal. If they are not, with a note editor tool, select one point of one subpath and to run path reverse. This will reverse only the selected subpath. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. That's gonna take me a little bit to process subconsciously. So we're gonna come back. We're I'm gonna move my mind down down the road. Use node or rung method as the to try below. Then select your satin column and run params through extensions, blah, 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 blah. Uh, extensions, extension params. Okay. Yeah. So the way that we made it is the node method. Depending on the complexity of your design, this method might be time consuming because the two paths must have the same number of points. This means that each path will be made up of an equal number of vector curves. Each pair of points acts as a checkpoint. Ink stitch will ensure that a zag ends up going from one point to the other. Okay, that's good. The rung method will give you more control over the way the second column is rendered. Good positioning of points on each of the two lines helps getting the stitch directions right. However, there are situations where you need to add direction lines for satin columns. Some tricky corner areas. Complicated drawings where moving points is both difficult and time consuming. Special situations where you want the stitch direction to be weird. Well, at least I know. Um, so manual adding of rungs. Make sure the existing satin column path is selected with the node editor tool. Press P or select the pencil tool. Hold shift, click once at the start of the rung. Um, second time at the end of the rung. Oh, is there an edutech wiki? Interesting. Huh. Cool. <laughs> Embroidery logos. Let's see this. Creating professional logos is fair, probably fairly, fairly difficult. Yep, I know that. I know that feeling. However, you can fairly easily create a logo if the original drawing or picture is not too complicated. Um, a good start would be MediaWiki, the software that runs Wikipedia and this wiki. Um, overlaps must be removed. MediaWiki logo with simple fills. Okay, so this is like a tutorial. That's actually really cool. I, um, 
Hmm. Okay. This is maybe a thing that we can explore next time. Yeah, it is a really cool. It is it is a very cool. Also, Wikipedia is great in my opinion. Um, in my personal opinion, I like Wikipedia is just great. It's an open source thing. It's free. It's great. It's education. It's good information. You know what else do you want to say about it? Um, anyways, back auto generated satin columns. Blah blah blah. Okay, so here are satin params. Um, let's see, let's see. It's the word of the people. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Okay, I'll read also this excellent article on satin column design. Um, blah blah blah. What is underlay? If you've been around embroidered digitizers or heard the term, but you may not know exactly what it's all about. It is stitching that lies under, under the visible top stitching. What isn't obvious is how crucial underlay is to making that top stitching look good. Underlay has three primary functions to increase the coverage of the top stitching as to prevent the ground from showing through. To lift stitching above the texture of the ground fabric or the stitching below and to help hold the edge of top stitch elements to a defined contour. Though underlay sounds complex, it's really pretty simple. The trick is to think of something you build in three dimensions. Okay. Uh, ha ha ha. Scroll, scroll. Okay, so edge run or contour, which consists of a pass of straight stitches runs just on inside the edge of each side of the column of stitches, providing a rail on which the top... Okay, right, and that's what they already do. A zigzag underlay um, is like the fill-in. Yeah. Okay, so it's really strong. Wow, even terry cloth can do under... can be... Okay, so we should also talk about this, because and you know honestly i kind of there's not just was it because we can um so wow unsupported huh um anyways um so the kind of fabric that you choose for embroidery is really important like what you're actually going to put into the machine and say hey throw about 10,000 needles into a Throw about 10,000 stitches into this one. Actually, how many How many is ours? I'm just going to check really quickly. Um, cancel. Mm. <laughs> what was it? 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,598. Yeah, okay. So, you know, there's you're going to throw roughly 6,000 stitches into this thing, or into this piece of fabric. So you really want it to be something that can stand up to it. Um, so what generally is a good rule of thumb is... If you can hold it up to the light and you can see the light through it, that is a bad sign. That is a sign that the fabric is thin. That is a sign that it is very, that it, it will it will tear easily slash rip. Um, it is also a sign that um, it's going to it's going to stretch or shrink really easily. Um, so ideal qualities in a fabric when you're choosing stuff for embroidery is stiff, relatively thick, flat textured, and or flat slash smooth textured, and um, Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, I think those are the three. Um, just because you don't want it too thick, because then it, some if it's too thick, then some machines are not able to handle the fabric. But um, you are able to do a lot. Or sorry, 
if it's thicker that means it's got more to it's got more or it's less likely to rip just because there's more thread holding it together um you want smooth textured slash flat textured because if you have stuff for example like this terry cloth i know that like it looks good and like you know it's done well but this is the exception on not not the um that is the exception not the which which my problem it is the exception not the protocol I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm saying that right, but you know what I mean. Um, thank you, not the norm. Um, what was it? So, because you have, like, all these little ruffles and these micro-texturings going on right here, um, you know, which is partly why it's so fluffy and, like, soft when you touch it, um, what can really happen is when the needle, because it, there's, um, the textures so three-dimensional and also like it has a lot of possibility of movement um when it goes in and in and out and in and out like the needle goes in and out and in and out and in and out and you know repeatedly so on it can get caught very easily on um on the te on the weird texturing um and then hold on thick flat slash smooth texture and stiff you want stiff just because um well it doesn't have to be s stiff necessarily you just want it not to be really flexible um because that means that it's going to more easily uh, so i was talking earlier or i was referenced or i was saying earlier that it has the possibility to I still have to nail down exactly what that machine does and does not doesn't like. Some cotton fabrics just don't do well, and some thick fabrics do great. It's so hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. I absolutely agree. It's hard, just because. Um, it's hard because it's picky. You're having a very complicated process of a needle going in thousands of in and out thousands of times and like th and with thread um and s and making thousands of stitches um at a very rapid high high pace speed um so you're so it, there's you want to make sure that you so um how do i phrase this you want to be careful you want to be careful about the, about the kind of fabric you choose and how complicated and the design or how complicated the product is and and what the design entails yes little tests are always a great idea thank you um yeah abby is absolutely right little tests are great um and maybe that means and it doesn't mean that you design something else it could mean that you um it can mean that you just throw a piece of fabric that you don't want to use but is the same but is the same type as the fabric that you do want to use and let it go and start the design and then stop about you know 10 percent of the way in i mean heck if you decide that you like it you can just you know let it keep keep uh just you know start again or not start again just ask tell it to resume and keep going and finish it finish it off but yeah it's it's good stuff it's just uh it's easier it's easier to fix things now and to prep well than to try to you know by hand take out thousands of stitches and restitch that's all i'm trying to say um which is why they say even thick loopy terry, terry cloth because it's really it can the needle can get caught on these little loopy things i don't know what to call them i'm gonna be totally honest fills okay uh consist of less mm 
loopy things. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that was a cool article. Let's read about the sound frames. Actually, it's it is about ten minutes until we have to skedaddle. So let's first things first. Let's make sure that what we have is good, and that it'll work. Um, so I'm gonna cancel this, and I'm gonna go ahead and say. So when you're so when you're at the point where you're like, hey, I want to border all these things, or you know, I'm done. This the simulation works great. Um, I don't have any other problems. I want to just go ahead. I'm done. Cool. Um, you go to Ink Stitch, and you want to go to where are you? Visualize and export embroidered. Oh, they really changed up a lot. It used to just be finish or embroider, if I'm not if I am remembering correctly. So we're gonna hit embroider, and oh, hold on, sorry. Let me show you Inkscape again. <laughs> That's important. Um, also, sorry. There's a lot of tiny little pop-ups that keep happening that I have to make. That I have to. Um, incorporate into the uh, video capture. Let's see. Uh, embroider. Okay. Cool. Here we are. Um, and so you can, so, okay, so because we're using a brother machine, you usually want to go, P, um, or if you're going to use our machines in the space, which I am, next stream, you know, what was it? I usually recommend PEC or PES. They say that it doesn't matter, but also I don't know what the difference is. Also, we have some time so we can do this, but let's see. Uh, PEC and PES. Brother. Um, here we go. Embroidery format PS. It is um, also I should probably show y'all. Here we are. Um, okay. Anyways, it is a hybrid embroidery design and embroidery command file format. Blah 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 blah. Contains the design information. Blah blah blah. Okay, so the PS contains the design information for and for brother PE design PC contains the design name colors and brother machine commands and all that stuff so I don't really know what the difference is I'm gonna be totally honest Okay, so PES, high-level embroidery design data, primarily for embroidery design applications. PEC, low-level embroidery machine data, primarily for embroidery hardware. Um, uh, there's a lot of things. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. There's a lot of complicated things that go into the software. Oh, yes. Also, thank you, Abby, for, um, for linking the... Uh, linking, linking um, the makerspace uh, brother embroidery machines. Wait, 770s? I thought they were 800s. I... Hold on. One sec. Yeah. Okay, so that is a either a typo or that is um, outdated information. Yeah, 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 yeah. It may it may not be updated. Yeah, um, but our model is the eight hundred, if that matters to people, um, and it might it might who knows. Um, yeah. What was it? So I'm gonna close that really quick. Let's see. Let's see. But yeah, this is good. And, yep, PS and PC. So it looks like PS, hold on, if we go down to, yeah, embroidered design applications, I'm gonna assume that's what we want, is PS because this is an embroidery design application and we're not programming the hardware. 
thankfully that's a lot that's a longer project that's a that's a that's a way in the future once you have a programming degree project with like 10 other people who also have programming degrees um but anyways so back to here um Let's go ahead. Say this is PS. Uh, and then extension directory. I don't want that. Let's throw this into something that's mine. Documents. Blah blah blah. <laughs> View. Nope. New. And true. And we're going to say, throw this in here. Okay. Okay. And I think that means that we're done. I think. Let me double check that the it exists in there. Um. But yeah, we are almost finished. So we've got a couple of minutes left, but if anyone has any questions, ask them now. Not a lot of time left before we can do that. Maybe I just need to file uh, extensions, next stitch, embroider. Maybe we'll just do that. Yay! That's good. I'm glad they look good. Um, but yeah. So I think we're done now. As long as we save as in. Oh, geez. Documents, I want to say. Source? No. Not there. Documents. Andrew. Part and ordering SVG. Save. Okay. But yes. Um. If any, what was it? I had a lot of fun doing the stream. Um. If anyone else has any more questions, like please. Uh, Abby will stick around for a couple more minutes, but at least I think she will. Um. But. Have a good night, y'all. This is... I love y'all. I love me. I love what we do. 